Congratulations on the Golden Globe nomination. Thank you. He almost had an obsession with the emperors, with the gods and goddesses. Uh, every single corner of the villa was really full of these images. And I think that his fashion was highly influenced also by all this mythological uh, world and, uh, and, uh, and this uh, Greekness. presence of these two big uh, fighters, wrestlers, was so overwhelming that uh, only everybody else would have put these uh, statues uh, in a hole, like uh, in any great English country house. He put them in the middle of the bedroom, and this was, uh, in my opinion, really uh, his genius in a way. We knew he'd painted this man. The picture has been untraced since probably 1783 when it was painted, and now it's turned up. We don't know, I think, exactly where he bought it or why he bought it or what it was called when he bought it, but it's a great excitement when a picture by a major artist turns up like this. Sadly, Gianni died young. Who knows what he would have collected in his 50s, 60s or 70s. Um, and, and there are also two a major differences uh, that uh, Yves Saint Laurent has collected in many different categories, uh, from the Renaissance up to the, there was some neoclassical furniture, 20th century art. Gianni concentrated solely on the neoclassical period, which is the late 18th century, with some antiquities as well. <laughs> 